In this tutorial I'll show how to extract from a site with infinite scroll with a load more button. In this site, when we scroll to the bottom of the page, it won't automatically load more elements until we press the see more button. I will first create a new project, which I'll call infinite scroll. Now I'll double click the main global to edit it. Here, I will select load URL from the wizard to load the current page. Then, I'll select more from the wizard. This will show a list of pre-made actions. I will visit infinite scroll with a load more button, which is the one I need. Now I will press next on the wizard, and then next again. Here, I need to provide a list item selector, which selects each of the list items on the page I want to extract from. So I'll go back to my page, turn on selection mode and press the detect list button. Now I'll press create selector from samples and call my selector list item. For the load more button selector, I'll select the see more button on the page and press create selector from samples. I'll call this selector load more button. Now I will press next and here I will set the maximum items to 200. Note that this is the number of items we will extract, not the number of pages we'll extract from, which will be less than 200. Finally, I'll add an extract action from the wizard. Here, I will select list, because this is a list. Since these are the right items, I will press yes. Now I will rename these columns to be more descriptive. I will now press this button to expand the selection preview, and preview the text of my selectors. And I will press Preview Selector in Browser on both the Stand and Show Area columns. Note that these selectors contain some repeated text. To fix this, I will expand data flow in the Project Explorer, right-click the text category and select create to create a new text transformation function, which I will call stand. Now I will select slice here and type a vertical bar and a space as a delimiter. On the slice position I will select 1, and then press save. Finally, I will select text stand as my gatherer for the stand column. I would also like to extract the URL of the exhibitor, and the exhibitor gatherer selects the link I need. So I will add one more column below, which I will call URL, and select exhibitor as the selector, and link as the gatherer. Since the infinite scroll action we added before already selects the list items, I will uncheck Insert List Item Selector here. Otherwise Helium would attempt to find the list items inside the list items themselves, and we'd end up getting no results. Now I'll press Done and start the extraction. Here, we can see the infinite scroll process in action. This action will also delete the list items that have already been extracted, which will minimize memory consumption when many items are extracted. And the extracted data will be located in the main data table. This concludes our tutorial.